Now let's talk a little bit about exercise um, to kind of wrap it up. Exercise is very important at improving insulin sensitivity. One primary reason for this is it really lowers insulin. When you exercise, insulin is antithetical to what the body's trying to do metabolically. When you're exercising, you want to be moving or mobilizing and burning energy. Insulin abhors mobilizing and burning energy. It only wants to store energy. And thus, it's no surprise as the body starts to demand exercise, insulin will retreat into the background, knowing that it's not its turn to be active. The body needs to use the energy, insulin retreats. And so it will lower insulin. Also, Remember, the main stimulus for insulin is elevated blood glucose. And the nice thing about exercise is that muscle is the main consumer of glucose. So uh, muscle is, in other words, the, the most hungry tissue. That up to 80% of the clearance of glucose from the blood after a meal is glucose that's going into the muscle. So the muscle eats the lion's share of glucose from the blood. And so when you're exercising, the muscles are eating a lot of it, and that lasts for several hours after exercise. And then if you happen to be engaging beyond the acute benefit over a day or so of improving insulin sensitivity with exercise, if you are increasing your muscle mass, now at any given moment, you have more of these mouths to feed, and, and the muscle will greedily pull in and use glucose every time you're moving them. And the nice thing is when you move the muscle it doesn't need to rely on insulin to eat the glucose. In a rested state, if you're sitting down now, any glucose that would be going into your muscles would be doing so because insulin comes and knocks on the door, most especially if you're listening to this in a postprandial state or a state after you just ate. Then insulin goes up, it then knocks on the door of the muscle cells in particular and, and a few others and opens those doors to allow the glucose to come in. When you're exercising, remember, insulin cannot tolerate that. It can't be elevated. But the muscle is so hungry that it has an insulin-independent mechanism. In other words, it can open those glucose doors without insulin, without needing to wait for insulin to come and knock. There is, if you will, a back door. Exercise opens the back door, allowing the glucose to come in through an unconventional route, thereby helping lower blood glucose, which helps lower insulin in the long term, which then improves insulin sensitivity directly and by shrinking fat cells. Now, with that in mind, you may be thinking, well then, Ben, what's the most important or best exercise I can do? My answer, and I hope it's not too pithy, is the one you'll do. Whatever you can do to just get out and be mobile, that's what you should stick with. Now, if you have options and sufficient motivation, my strong recommendation is resistance training over endurance training. Endurance training is not going to do too much to help maintain muscle mass. Indeed, it may start to work against you maintaining muscle mass. Um, you want resistance training as much as you can. Anything you can do to fatigue your muscles, even something as simple as push-ups and chair squats until you start to feel a little bit of burn and do that just a few times a day is going to be, depending on where you're at, is going to be a, st a stimulus to help you increase your muscle mass. And remember, more muscle means greater insulin sensitivity, usually.